able to create a new field. Mm -hmm. What I will do, I want to add some new field. Then what you can do, go to an adaptation, add. You can see there's a field and mesh. Mm -hmm. Mesh mm -hmm. will come later. Mm -hmm. Field is, if you click on field, mm -hmm. it will open an information and tell you what are the field information you required apart from which is visible. Because these mm -hmm. are all field information is an extension field, which is created earlier. And from mm -hmm. extension field, if you feel like something needs to be added, you can add from here. If not, if mm -hmm. not, you can create your own. Okay. Click on create field. Mm -hmm. When you click here, mm -hmm. it will open an information. Business contact. Now, what field information you want? Right. So you can put it like uh, individual state. For example. I just want to put it. Mm -hmm. so as soon as you put a label name, technical name also comes out of it. And okay. what you need to do, you need to put a technical label C. Okay. Just to identify that it is your technical name. Mm -hmm. Then the type you can select, you need to have a drop down that is this. Multi validated, there is multiple selection option, indicator, mm -hmm. date, date, and time. So you can have a selection parameter. What this field you want to highlight it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I'm having a drop down, I need to put a drop down as a list. Mm -hmm. right? Then, after doing this, you can put a list by the description. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. So, mm -hmm. this will have drop down. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you want to have a multiple, uh, uh, multiple list. That means mm. you can add again a drop down value, but this can be in one single field, you will have multiple values. So, my field is adding to accounts uh, table or accounts object. Account table, yeah. Within an account table, I'm adding all those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this account table header information and address information. Mm -hmm. So, where you want the information to be added, then you can decide. If mm -hmm. there is some calculation need to be done. Mm -hmm. So that can also be calculated like in this technical name, you, you want any calculation for this field. Like if I put a text and you want some calculated value, mm -hmm. it should be in the decimal. Mm -hmm. Suppose uh, uh, suppose if I added a custom field here, is this visible to my reporting level? Yes. Now for uh, coming to that, coming to that, I just now added a field, right? Now you got it. How I added a field. Yeah, now, after yeah. adding a field, after adding a field, I will go to an extension field. Okay, sir. Just to, uh, so through adaptation, we are going to add the field, new fields to the objects. Add a so, field, create a field. Okay. Uh, now use, coming using using adaptation function. Using adaptation. Mm -hmm. And when I'm doing it through an adaptation, that means it will impact to entire user. Okay, not specific to my. Yeah, the adaptation is entirely for the system wide. System wide. Okay. Now, coming to your point, as soon as I create this, okay, field mm -hmm. information and I, I open it, it will give me these options general data form, template report. Now, if I want, if I want to extend this field to any form which is created. That means mm -hmm. I want a form like, for example, PDF form or some account summary form, whatever mm -hmm. form, if it is required, and I want to add this field, mm -hmm. this field to that account summary, mm -hmm. then I can go here to a form and template. You can see different languages added here, right? Which language you want to extend mm -hmm. for that? You can go here, click on check button. Mm -hmm. Get an option. Okay. So before go, jump, going into forms, whether it is uh, the custom field visible to all the views, all the page layouts in, in default, or we need to. Uh, you need go... to create after doing this. If you mm -hmm. want to create a page layout, you can create a page layout, mm -hmm. create a business role, assign a business role, then this field will be only specifically visible to that business role in that page layout. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So this is what now this is what I'm just giving an extension of that field you told right now yeah. in the reports if I want this field to be visible in the report I can click on the report I can add it okay if I want to have this field in an enterprise search there is a search criteria in the C4 will this is when you are searching here right global search it comes mm -hmm. to the search criteria mm -hmm. so just extension scenario now in which scenario you want to extend it like for a from account, I want an account general to mm -hmm. address information or activity to contract account to lead. You want to copy this field automatically in lead information from an account. So if you check this, this field will automatically get copied from account to lead. No need to create additional field in lead and then do a copy. As soon as you check it, it automatically get extended to you. Similarly, if you check it, automatically get extended to opportunity. Mm -hmm. pricing sales document it is very flexible when you check all this you don't need to create another field information in an opportunity for having this copy mm -hmm. right it will automatically extend it and get copied out okay. Mm -hmm. okay when you check all this information going to the service you can also extend to the uh, integration part business part of replication you want this field to replicate to a backend mapping and all so if you check all this option, it will also get replicated. You mean, to, you mean to say the service means not service module? No, no. Service means not service module. It is services. Services means web service, what I'm talking about. C4C so, is a web service. So suppose if I add a um, additional field in a accounts object in C4C, if I ask for a service object, so you, it will extend the field in ERP also. Which, which field customer field it adds? Sir? Not okay. extend in ERP. It will mm -hmm. extend in C4C. At mm -hmm. which that custom field can also be utilized to map with ERP field. See, normally what happened in the integration, if I have n number of field information in C4C, mm -hmm. and I have to map with ERP field information, Correct. then we need to have a middleware called as a CPI. Mm -hmm. Also, without an CPI, also you can do a mapping that mm -hmm. is done through an OData or API. Mm -hmm. OData is an open data source. Mm -hmm. Now, and that OData functions work on basis of web service. Mm -hmm. Now, for that, you need to do point to point mapping. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for that point to map, point mapping, you need to have these field information extended over here. So, so basically, what we are trying to do, the interfaces will be added to this, this field. The interface objects, whatever the function modules, whatever exactly. the exactly, what for the, an interface. Interface, what are interface functionality, whatever the function modules, whatever yes. the classes, whatever the web services will be enhanced with this field enhanced for that object, with, this, with this for this object, account object. Exactly. Okay, so that uh, so that in ERP or any other system, they have to map it their own function. Hey, yes, okay. yes, correct. This is what. Okay. Then after this, there is one more extension is O data service, which I told. Okay. So this O data service normally, when you need to give uh, direct point to point integration, you can extend to any of the uh, contact or customer. Mm -hmm. So I extend it, and then this will get consumed. This O data API will get consumed by other uh, uh, system, mm -hmm. and then pass the information from there to see. Okay. So okay. basically, what data services, whatever the data objects are there, for that also, it will be added. Yes. Okay. This will okay. be added. The data classes. Okay. Correct. Correct. So mm. these are all the extension scenarios we discussed. Now you understood, right? How one field can be extended to multiple places. Okay. Which is created in the report, form, search criteria if you want to modify, copy extension scenario from one uh, object to other object if you want to copy automatically. That can be done. Then the services, if the web service, if it is there, right? That can mm -hmm. be done. O data API, if there, it can be done. Mm -hmm. These are all multiple extensions. Mm -hmm. So that is very important area for an adaptation. Mm -hmm. Clear?